How to Create a User in Jenkins. Much of the time, you integrate Jenkins with an existing authentication solution, such as LDAP or SAML. However, if you don't have an existing authentication solution, you can create users directly in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.4. Now, in order to be able to create users within Jenkins, first off, you have to have administrative privileges on this Jenkins controller. So I'm going to click on Manage Jenkins, and then I'm going to look for the section that's called Manage Users. I'll go ahead and click on Manage Users, and let's click on Create User. So when I click on Create User, I can give it a username. So I'm going to say Beta. For the password, I'm also going to give it a password called Beta. I can confirm the password. I'll give it a full name of Beta, and the address is going to be b at b.com. If I click on Create User, what we see in the list now is that we have a beta user. If I wanted to make modifications to this beta user, I can click into it and then click on Configure. And I can add a description. Let's say this is beta user one. If the user had any API tokens, I would see the reference to those tokens here. I would not see the tokens, but I would see the reference to the tokens. Also, if they already had credentials associated with this user, I would see those credentials here. If I needed to update the email address, I can do that. And also, if I, as the administrator, needed to reset the password for this user because they had forgotten their password, then I could reset the password for them right here. Finally, there's a section for SSH public keys and also session termination. So if I needed to go ahead and say this person was leaving, I could go in, change the password so they could not log in with that password anymore. But if they were already logged in, they would still see the controller. I could come in here, click on terminate all sessions, and that would eliminate all of the sessions for this user. Now let's go ahead and click on save, go back to the user. We can see that the user here is beta user one. That was the description that we just added. Let's go ahead and click on people. People will take us back to the view of all of the users that are known to this controller. This is not the same page that we just came from. This people page includes all known users, including login identities, which the current security realm can enumerate, as well as any people mentioned in commit messages. So really where I want to go back to if I want to manage the user and because I want to do something with beta, what I will do is I'll click on Manage Jenkins and go back to my section called Manage Users. Notice how users looks different than people. So in this case, I could click on the gear and go back to the configuration directly for the user beta. Or if I decided beta is no longer here, I can click on the trash can, do I want to go ahead and delete this user? Click on yes. And now that beta user has been completely removed from this controller. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.